how a simple herbal tea could potentially provide significant benefits for your kidney health. I'm talking about hibiscus tea and the merging evidence behind its nephro or kidney protective properties is quite fascinating. Many of us are looking for natural ways to support our kidney function, whether we are already dealing with kidney disease or simply want to maintain optimal kidney health. And while there are numerous herbs and supplements being marketed for kidney support, I want to focus on one that actually has substantial scientific evidence behind it. I'm Dr. Bismar Fan, a physician on a mission to help you break free from symptom management and step into a life of thriving health. Together, we will uncover simple, powerful ways to prevent disease, restore energy, and take control of your health naturally. If you're ready to stop managing illness and start building vitality, you are in the right place. Your prescription for vitality starts now. Hibiscus. Hibiscus sabderifa, commonly known as roselle or sour tea, has been used traditionally in many cultures around the world. You might recognize it by its vibrant red color and tart cranberry-like flavor. But beyond its pleasant taste, research is revealing some impressive benefits for kidney health. So what makes hibiscus special for kidney function? It comes down to four key mechanisms that have been observed in scientific studies. First, hibiscus contains powerful antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds. The calyces, those fleshy parts that surround the seeds, are particularly rich in anthocyanins and polyphenols. These compounds help combat oxidative stress and inflammation, which are major drivers of kidney damage and chronic kidney disease progression. I found a fascinating study by Ali and colleagues published in the Journal of Pharmacy and Pharmacology that demonstrated how both aqueous extracts and anthocyanins from hibiscus calices significantly reduced the effects of experimentally induced kidney disease in animals. In fact, the benefits were, were comparable to those who take lisinopril, a medication which is commonly prescribed for kidney protection in hypertensive patients. That's quite remarkable for a natural plant extract. The second mechanism involves hibiscus's kidney protective properties, meaning it directly helps protect kidney cells and tissues. There was a research I also saw by Ejo Boe published in 2024 ACS Omega, which showed that flavonoid-rich extracts from hibiscus leaves improved kidney health in diabetic models by modulating specific molecular pathways involved in kidney injury. The researchers found that hibiscus affected signaling pathway like kidney injury molecule 1, also known as KIM1, and transforming growth factor beta 1, which is TGF1 beta, which are critical markers of kidney damage and dysfunction. The third is hibiscus appears to regulate renal fibrosis and a process called epithelial mesenchymal transition or also known as EMT. Now, I know that does sound complicated, but it's essentially a process where kidney cells transform and contribute to scarring in the kidneys. Yang and colleagues also found that hibiscus polyphenols reduce these markers of fibrosis in models of diabetic kidney disease. This is significant because fibrosis is often a point of no return in kidney disease progression. And finally, hibiscus has natural diuretic and natriuretic properties. That means that it will help you release extra water and salt from your body. Studies by L.R. Kahn and Alonso showed that hibiscus extracts increased renal filtration and sodium excretion. For people with kidney issues who are retaining fluid or dealing with high blood pressure, this gentle diuretic effect could be beneficial in managing fluid balance. Now, I should note that most of these studies have been conducted in lab setting or animal models. While the results are promising, we do need more clinical trials to fully understand hibiscus's effect in human with kidney disease. That said, the existing evidence suggests considerable potential. This actually reminds me of a patient I saw, uh, a woman in her early 50s with stage 3 chronic kidney disease, 
she came to me after being told by her previous kidney doctor that there wasn't much she could do besides taking medications and waiting for the inevitable progression. So as part of her comprehensive protocol, we included hibiscus tea among other dietary and lifestyle interventions. After six months, not only had her kidney function stabilized, but her inflammatory markers had decreased significantly, her energy levels improved, and she was able to reduce two of her blood pressure medications with her primary doctor's supervision. So, of course, everybody's body is different and what worked for her might not be the right solution for another person. This is why personalized care is so essential in functional medicine. If you are interested in incorporating hibiscus tea into your routine, there are few practical considerations. First, quality matters tremendously. Especially if you have kidney disease, look for organic pure hibiscus without additives or fillers. Many commercial kidney support teas contain multiple herbs, some of which might not be appropriate for your specific situation or that they can increase potassium in your body. Second, preparation matters as well. To get the most benefits, steep dried hibiscus calices in hot boiling water, not, uh, not too boiling, but hot water for about 10 to 15 minutes. This allows for optimal extraction of the beneficial compounds. I typically recommend using about 1 to 2 teaspoons of dried hibiscus per cup of water or use fresh leaves. Third, consider the timing and amount. For most people, 1 to 2 cups daily is a reasonable starting point. However, if you are on medications, especially blood pressure medications or diuretics, it is important to space hibiscus tea away from these medications and discuss with your physician. And speaking about physician, while I'm sharing these insights about hibiscus tea, I'm not your doctor. I don't know your specific medical situation or what medications you might be taking. Some herbs, including hibiscus, can also interact with certain medications or might not be appropriate for specific medical condition. Always discuss adding supplements or herbal teas with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your routine. What's interesting is that when compared with different herbal options for kidney support, research suggests that hibiscus is superior and has superior benefits to other commonly recommended herbs like stinging nettle. While nettle tea does have some anti-inflammatory properties that could theoretically help with kidney function, the body of evidence supporting hibiscus for kidney-specific benefits is more substantial. Let me emphasize, thanks for tuning into the Wellness Focus with Dr. Bisma, where we are rewriting the rules of health and giving you the tools to thrive. If this episode spoke to you, please subscribe and share it with someone who is ready to take control of their well-being. Also, please consider leaving a review. It really helps people find the podcast. For more expert insights and resources, follow me at drbesma.com. Your health, your power, your vitality. It starts with you. See you next time.